I was in my second year at UVSC here at the time, and I was always a good student. I an overachiever. I graduated from high school with a high GPA. I came to UVU because it accepted the concurrent enrollment, and it was where I wanted to be. And during my second year, I was preparing for an LDS mission. I was working outside of home. It was my first real experience kind of being independent. I wasn't really at home anymore. And the depression snuck up on me, and I didn't recognize it for what it was at the time. I started to withdraw. I didn't hang out with my friends as much or my family. I got involved in some video games, some multiplayer games. I got involved in a sword fighting group in the valley, and those two things dominated my life. And they kind of fed the depression, because as I got more and more depressed, I turned more and more to those and away from my real friends, my real connections. And one of the big things that happened to me was that my education, something that I've always been strong in, started to slip. I didn't, instead of reading my textbooks, I was playing video games. Instead of doing my homework, I was out swinging a sword at somebody. And I kept turning to the video games and the sword fighting because that felt rewarding to me where the homework no longer did, the grades no longer did. I started missing tests. I started staying up late playing video games. I wasn't giving myself enough sleep, which only feeds the depression even more. My mom actually noticed that I wasn't going to classes anymore. And she pulled me aside one day and started talking to me. And we had a long discussion. And she said, you know, I think that you're depressed. And I said, but I'm still finding happiness. And she said to me that sometimes depression doesn't mean that you don't have happiness. It's that it's isolated and it's secluded and it's not as rewarding as it used to be. And so she hooked me up with the stu health students services here and got me in with a counselor. And we started meeting twice a week. And she also said, you need to go talk to your professors too. You need to go talk to your teachers. You need to go talk to them and see what's going on. And this ethics and values teacher said, you missed a whole unit of material. What I'd like to do is have you do a book report. Why don't you do some study and write a report on this? And then I'll grade that, and we'll treat that in lieu of your test. And then why don't you start coming back to class? Why don't you get involved again? Why don't you finish the semester? And her faith in me, her belief in me, and the work that the counselor was doing, and the fact that I got so much support from my mom, who knew, who'd been through it herself, so she knew what I needed to hear, those three things really helped me turn my life around. And even though I was only able to salvage that one class, I learned how to cope with my depression but I'd like to think that I could pay this forward a little bit and maybe help students that are in the same exact position I was have that professor that says, all right, so what can we do to help you succeed? And so I can be just like she was to me to someone else.